Hello, dear students. I am Dr. Michael Kumho. To this video, today we are solving a case study question from three-dimensional geometry, equation to plane and line combination question. It is in part class twelve CBSE. The question is in front of you. There are five parts of this question. Let us read it very mindfully. The Indian Coast Guard, while patrolling, saw a suspicious boat with people. They were nowhere looking like fishermen. The Coast Guard were closely observing the movements of the boat for an opportunity to seize the boat. They observed that the boat is moving along, along a planar surface. At an instant of time, the coordinates of the position of the Coast Guard helicopter and the boat is 1,3,5 and 2,5,3 respectively. Based on the error, answer the following. There are five parts. First question is the line joining the position of the helicopter and the boat is perpendicular to the plane in which the boat moves, then the equation of the plane is minus x plus 2y a minus 2z is 6, x plus 2y a plus 2z is 6, x minus 2y a minus 2z is 6, x minus 2y a minus 2z is 6. We have to find the equation of the plane which is perpendicular to line joining these two given points. Second question is, if the Coast Guard decide to shoot the boat at the given instant of time, then what is the distance in meter that the bullet has to travel? That means you have to find the distance between two given points. If the Coast Guard decides to shoot the boat at the given instant of time, when the speed of the bullet is 36 meter per second, what is the time taken for the bullet to travel and hit the boat? So distance, even you will find out in question number two, you can find out if speed is 30 meter per second, what will the answer of this time? One by eight, one by 14, one by 10, one by 12. Now part four is at that given instant of time, the equation of the line passing through the position of the helicopter, the boat is position of the helicopter and the boat. You have to find the equation of the line joining these two given points 1,3,5, 2,5,3. The possible answers are x minus 3 upon 1, y minus 3 upon 2 is equal to z minus 1 upon minus 2 second is x minus 1.2 is equal to y minus 3 upon 1 is equal to z minus 3 upon minus 2 third is x minus x plus 1 by minus 2 y minus 2 upon minus 1 z minus upon minus 2 fourth is x minus 1 upon 2 x y plus 3 upon minus 1 z plus 5 upon 2 now, 5 is at a different instant of time, the boat moves to a different position along the planar surface. What would be the coordinates of the location of the boat if the Coast Guard shoots the bullet along the line whose equation is x upon 1 is equal to y upon 1, minus 1 upon 2, z minus 2 upon 1. For the bullet to hit the boat, four options are given, four points are given. You have to find which one is the answer. So let us go one by one. First question. If the line joining the position of the helicopter and the boat is perpendicular to the plane in which the boat moves, then the equation of the plane is. So what you'll do? First you find the normal. The line joining Two helicopters that means p is one comma five u is two comma minus comma five comma minus three so this is the normal to the plane so what is the direction ratio direction ratio is two minus one one 
five minus three two and three minus five minus two. So this is the normal to the plane. And the plane is passing through this point of the boat. That is two five three. So what is the equation to the plane? It will be two. I am writing in the Cartesian form x minus. I am taking this point boat x minus two plus. Sorry, this is not two. This is your. This is your. I am taking one one minus two minus two. So one into x minus two. Plus two into y minus five plus minus two into z minus three is equal to zero. That means if normal has a direction ratio a b c and the plane is passing through x one y one z one, then the equation of the plane is a into x minus x one. Plus b into y minus y one plus c into z minus z one is equal to zero. So you can note down this is a very fundamental concept. Now simplifying this, I'll get x minus two plus two y minus ten minus two z plus six. Is equal to zero. Now simplifying this, I get x plus two y minus two z minus twelve plus six minus six is zero. Or simplifying, I get x plus two y minus two z is equal to six. So this will be the answer of this part one. So what is the answer? X plus two y minus z is equal to six. So C is answer. Now coming to second part. If the Coast Guard decide to shoot the boat at the given instant of time, then what is the distance between between the bullet has to travel? That means you have to find the distance between one comma three comma five and Q. The boat two five three. So you know distance formula. So this will be two minus one whole square plus five minus three whole square plus three minus five whole square. So it will be one plus four two square four plus four square root. It will be nine meter. So nine meter means. Oh, sorry, square root of nine. It will be three meter. So B is answer of this question. Coming to C part. If the Coast Guard decides to shoot the boat at the given instant of time, when the speed of the bullet is thirty-six meter per second, so B is thirty-six meter per second. What is the time taken? Time is asked. And what is the distance? We have got it. It is three meter, three meter, and time will be your distance by speed. So three by thirty-six. So one by twelve seconds. So one by twelve seconds means D is answer of this question. Now coming to fourth part, fourth and fifth part together. At that given instant of time, the equation of the line passing through the position of the helicopter and boat. This is your helicopter. This is your boat. You have to find equation of the line joining these two points, and you have to find the found option. What is the answer? So, equation x one y one j j one. If one point is this x two y two j two. Another point is this. Then the equation will be x minus x one upon x two minus x one 
is equal to y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 that is equal to z minus z1 upon z2 minus z1. So taking this point is 1, 1, 1. This is 2, 2, 2. I can write the equation. So x minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 is equal to x minus 3, sorry, y minus 3. y minus 3 upon 5 minus 3. That is equal to z minus 5 upon 3 minus 5. So it will be x minus 1 by 1, y minus 3 by 2, z minus 5 by minus 2. So this is the answer you to identify x minus 1 upon 1, y minus this is y minus 3 by 2, z minus 5 by minus 2. So A is answer of this question. No, this is A is the answer. Now coming to fifth part. At a different instant of time, the boat moves to a different position along the planar surface. What should be the coordinates of the location of the boat if the Coast Guard shows the bullet along the line? The equation is this. The equation of a line is given x over 1 is equal to y minus 1 upon 2 is equal to z minus 2 upon 1 for the bullet hit the boat. These possible points are given. You will put all the points in place of your x, y, z. So minus 9 by 3 is equal to 19 by 3 minus 1 by 2 is equal to minus 14 by 3 minus 2 by 1. And we'll check which point is satisfying the equation. So it will put, we'll find that none of A, B, C is correct. Only B is correct because none of the, the above is satisfying the options. That means what we are doing, we are doing the points, this x, y, z in place of the x, y, z in the line to see whether all the threes are equal to each other or not. So this is the final answer. Of course, B is not the answer. Again, I repeat this is the answer. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing my channel.